Hey guys, it's Socks, and welcome to day four of the 13 Deadly Nights of Cast Challenge by Nika Tyler. Of course, the link to their channel will be below as well as their series, and I'm gonna pop up the little flash card thing now of the prompts. Today's prompt is Boar Monstrous. So I actually didn't make an occult, well, not like a normal occult. I kind of wanted to go with the theme of like a misunderstood quote-unquote monster, not like an actual real monster. Like it was just, you know, a normal healthy baby that was born that just so happened to be born with green skin. Maybe it's a mutation, maybe it's a rapid evolution for something, but it's just, it's just someone who was born with this green skin and was just kind of outcast from the community a little bit i i don't know Ed. don't don't think too deep about it please i don't want to like d delve into like serious <laughs> topics or anything it's just kind of a cute little um frankenstein-ish idea i really love the aesthetic of like a green skin kind of like different color hair going on kind of like the whole you know how murdoch from the gorillas is just like green just for no explainable reason. I mean, the reason is uh, apparently because he drinks so much alcohol, but it's kind of like that. It's kind of just like, you have green skin, congrats. I don't know what it is about me and green skin. I'm just drawn to it. Maybe it's because my skin is like kind of a slightly greenish, greenish tinge because I just like... I don't know, I'm slowly turning into like, <laughs> I'm slowly turning into like a bud of marijuana, no, I'm kidding. Um, I mean, kind of, but also like, I do have some sickly pallor going on sometimes, especially like when I'm in rough stages of my uh, chronic illness. But yeah, so I went with kind of more of an alt aesthetic, got lots of piercings going on, kind of, kind of a little bit like um a sim i had on a uh, sims twitter that i did a little bit of like storytelling with my sim maxine who's kind of an oc of mine so kind of based on her kind of more like a different type of re redesign almost basically i i don't know i'm not gonna get too much into that i more want to talk about some actual like cases of people's skin color being different i don't know this is like so fascinating to me i believe what is it called um hypochromic anemia i believe is what it's called where it's like an iron deficiency based anemia the anemia i had for a long time it's actually resolved itself since my splenectomy which is weird i it really wouldn't be surprising if i did still have anemia especially i'm not on any iron supplements anymore either so just kind of so happened to resolve itself which is really weird i mean i have enough problems to compensate for that but that causes like a really really green tinge and it's just basically when the blood uh cells are like pale so it's like your red your red tinge you're like goes away entirely it's crazy i'm not gonna post any pictures because like i don't want to get flagged as like too graphic or anything if you really want to look it up yourself you can i'm very desensitized to that kind of stuff because like um i want to work in mortuary science so i kind of have to be but yeah and then i also want to talk about the blue fugates which i believe was caused by um it was like a recessive gene, basically. What does it cause? Oh god, I'm gonna butcher this word. Methemoglobinemia. And basically, it's a recessive gene that, like, causes a, a production of the red blood cells to kind of just... I don't know. Not work. It's so hard to describe, like, a very, like, complicated illness and just, like, a quick little video. Basically, you literally appear blue. It's because of the inbreeding and the blood disorders that they get from the decades of inbreeding that it's, like, it, it, it just happens. Your skin can appear, like blue blue and it's it's funny because it was like you know they were pretty healthy the blue fugates specifically um and they live in the i believe it's the hills of kentucky it's always it's always kentucky it's always the hills of somewhere in america <laughs> sorry that's 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 mean i mean it i mean it in the nicest way possible you know like it's a lot of just unfortunate circumstance i think for people like that and it does like interest me but i know that also like a lot of research and like documentation on those kind of cases is very very like exploitative and it really 
uh, it really pisses me off really that it's so exploitative of these vulnerable people but hey that's just america how did this turn into um i i am going to complain about america i say america like i'm not american i basically consider canada like a part not like a part like it's like my, my canadian audience could be like hey what do you mean by that i mean like it's all it all kind of trickles down here cultures aren't too different however when they are different i will point it out and glow i'm kidding <laughs> i'm kidding i mean there definitely are like some subtle differences but it is just the north america continent as a whole but either way i'm going to end this video here sorry for that another another great tangent great part about these um but yeah i would like to thank my patrons sasha jacqueline dream hana and esther of course, the link to Nika's channel will be in below. Will be in below. Will be down below, as well as the link to her series. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you all in the next video of whatever I make.